So mental health happiness is there, but what was the, for Corona, it was uncertainty, how to tackle uncertainty. And that is all about mental health. And I personally strong feeling that there should be a subject about emotional management and thinking skill separate subject. There should be a subject which will be a structured subject. There will be 100 lessons in it. Then there will be homework for it to do. It's a skill. It's not only knowledge, but it's a skill also. Because if I want to be, I, I say that, oh, anger is bad for me. I don't want to be angry. And now I have decided I shall not be angry. But do you think that it will happen? No, because you have not learned the skills. If I say I want to learn the cycling and I do not do any practice, will it be possible? No, it's a skill and skill. It is a systematically you can stay wise, conquer the anger very nicely if you have been taught that. For surgery, I am investing after 12, 8 to 9 years to learn. But to control my emotions, I do not learn anything. I want that, but I do not learn. I learn about the universe. I learn about the stars. I learn about the earth. I learn about what things happening all around, but I do not want to learn about my own emotions, how to manage my own emotions. Day to day, every second you have some emotion. Every second you have some thoughts. But I do not want to learn about my thoughts, how to manage and how to improve my thinking skill. I do not want to learn. So that is what Corona has taught. Uncertainty, how to go ahead with uncertainty. So social well-being, of course, without that, it was not possible. This was a disease which was spreading to the society. So together, how can we cope up with this? That has also been taught by this. How to, one more thing, we work for everything that, okay, I want to remain healthy. I don't want to get affected by the Corona. So I'm following so many instructions and everybody, 90% people followed it nicely. That is there. But what is we are forgetting, even as a doctor also, I tell you that we are forgetting one thing which I uh, taught by a general person, I, tell, uh, I shall share my experience with you. That once uh, in my internship in uh, Tiroda, uh, one village, I had been there and a nearby village, which was around 20 kilometers away in interior, there was uh, diarrhea and loose motions. Uh, nearly 114 people used to stay in that village and uh, 74 had diarrhea and loose motions. We treated them successfully. And the, you know, we investigated, the water samples were collected and it showed cholera vibri. And uh, I was very proud and I thought, what an invention I have done that it was cholera, microorganisms and everything. I could correlate that they, there was only one well in the village and that well was good. I had cholera vibrio in the water. And so that affected the people and that, has, that was the cause for all this uh, loose motions and so many other associated problems. Then I tried to counsel the people there, the, the community people sitting around 15 to 20 people and Sarpanch also, Pradhan what we call, was also there. I told him what is the cause and uh, the uh, well water is the cause and you pe all people drink the well water and uh, that's why that should be chlorinated, that should be keep safe and everything I, I knew, I told him. Uh, Serge Punch afterwards got up and he said that I have one query. And I said, okay, because I, I was happy that if somebody asks questions, uh, you, as a professor, you also know that the person must have understood something, then only he wants to ask, ask some questions. Uh, so he said, we are 114, you told us, out of that 74 got affected, that also you told us. I said, yes, that and that reason was well water. 
He said, but we are only one well. We drink all the people drink water from that. I said, yes, that was the reason so many people got affected. But he said, the other 40 people didn't get affected. They never had any cholera or dysentery, diarrhea, nothing. Other 40 people had no complaints. I told him, no, no, this way, that way, that some gets affected because of some other fear reasons and so But inside, I thought that I know why the people are suffering, but I don't know why the people remain healthy. That is very important. Why the people remain healthy? That is what everybody should ask for. Doctors should ask for. People should ask for. And we have to develop that science. Why the people remain healthy? And that is what that serpent taught me. That to a doctor. That why the people remain healthy. And that's why we have to do work on why we should remain healthy do a physical exercise and everything mental health for that you have to work on your emotions work on your think thoughts on daily basis then only you will remain healthy otherwise not on daily basis social contact social well-being from society if you feel bad what should be the change inside your thoughts so all this has to be done on daily basis then only it is possible that we will be able to keep ourselves healthy and that corona has taught us to remain healthy it is not only all these factors but also emotionally by thinking also you have to be healthy and you have to introspect yourself every day and improve on what you talk with yourself what are your emotions and how to improve on. But that skill will take at least few years actually to develop. It's not that in one day I can tell and I you will learn. It's not possible. If you, I want to learn surgery, I have to invest at least 10 years. If I want to learn thinking skill and uh, uh, emotional management, I have to invest throughout like continuously. But learn the basic through knowledge and then develop the skills. Then Okay. It's too, uh, if I am taking too much time, you can stop with me in between also. What I have learned from Corona is one more important thing was that the local government and community is very important. For the first time in the history, I saw that the collectors were given the power to decide about the health and other activities and the financial powers also so that they can take the decision at local level where the health uh, health priority is there they can um, decide they can take the decision and uh, accordingly decisions were taken in the district places only. so decentralization helped a lot and that should stay and that is my feeling because in health everything is changing Sickle cell will be more in tribal areas. Let them decide what to do for the sickle cell. If the government says, okay, you do, do this, 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 that may not be applicable to the tribal area. So every area has a separate need. So the decisions are taken at the local level. That is very important. Community involvement is very, very important. It is necessary. Ambulance services were provided by the community. Food was provided by the community. Psychological support was provided by the community. So community involvement is very important. So local government, then the community involvement. And we should understand that everybody can contribute in health sector. Analytics, engineers, those who, uh, those who you feel that, okay, engineer, what he has to do with health, but that's not right. The general engineer, they were in so many apps. Vaccination, COVID app. The app has provided vaccination program, more than 100 crores was done, but without a fault. So that is very important. I shall tell you about what I have done, but I think um, I will have to share my screen. Will it take time or will it be easy? Yeah. This is what food packets, 
were distributed then we created a uh, research was one of the thing which occurred uh, you can see so many products which were not existing in india were uh, started we started manufacturing and we evolved a few new things also this was what happened in mumbai and many other cities the people were scared to uh, means ambulance drivers and other people in the ambulance were scared to carry these patients in their vehicle so we devised a carrier where the oxygen and everything will go inside and monitor this pulse and respiration will be monitored through this cage like thing so that he will sit in that and then uh, will be carried no organisms will be able to come out so that was one thing which we were able to do and that was a very safe uh, means transfer of people through the, uh, the through the ambulance then uh, pp kit at that time were not manufactured on a large scale so we could be able to manufacture at that time when pp kits were not available in india and it was too tough because even for uh, taking the the what cloth you want uh, we were not able to go vehicles were not allowed on the road so uh, permissions and so many other things were there which were done and ultimately we manufactured pp kits and lacks and we were able to distribute when these were not available it's not me only i tell you it, many people have done it because uh, i was concerned with this i am telling about myself oxygen cylinders uh, then medicines distribution this every community person have done it actually and ambulances and uh, so what changes ultimately what i expect from you all is that whatever we have learned from corona we should not uh, forget and one more thing which i want to share definitely which is very important is the experience many people will yesterday only one of my member of parliament told me that um, he has argued with the ms director and said that i am eating uh, haldi for uh, so many uh, now months and so i am not getting i didn't get the corona so uh, and corona is produced all by the doctors and not by it's all fear nothing else that is his experience so how can we accept this and should we accept this how can we deny also that is also very important it's very difficult to deny because he is a firm believer and we respect his thoughts but we do not agree as a doctor i do not agree because we need evidence it is his experience and one is evidence uh he shall tell one or two examples the, 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 just uh, for uh, on a lighter mode i'm telling you Yes, there was a scientist of international repute so what he did one experiment he catched one frog mendak liya hath mein frog and uh, he cut his one leg and said jump the frog jumped then he cut his second leg and he said jump the frog jumped he cut his third leg and said jump the frog jumped then he cut the fourth leg and said jump kudo nothing happened so he is he wrote down on the paper is uh, research uh, paper and uh, the uh, the observations all the observations and in the conclusion what was the conclusion that is important that he said that when you cut the legs of the frog he is not able to hear use sunai nahi deta jab aap mendak ke pair kaatte ho ab uska experience is whatever his observations were good correct but his interpretation was wrong this was in lighter one but scientifically if you see this is true i can tell you if you remember there was a, there is a darga in mine creek is there and uh, even if you remember mine creek uh, the the sea water was very sweet 
and people used to go there and they used to say that because of that water their diseases have been cured completely so lakhs of people visited that place and after seven days it was made clear by the government that there was uh, uh, some leakages from the chemical factory which uh, went inside the sea and that they were water this witness but did it cure the diseases no that was their observation the symptoms must be less i don't agree and say that their symptoms were. but the cause was not that what the cause may be something different so their interpretation was wrong even this happened with uh, giving milk to ganpati bhagwan ganpati idol the crores of people gave milk to the uh, idol uh, ganpati and uh, then one scientist told that it's a capillary action nothing else so i i am not against the religion or anything uh, because many times people object it happens with every religion it's not that with one religion uh, and uh, it is not doubting the religion it is what is more important that cause and effect relationship what we are giving is wrong your observations are correct that you didn't suffer from corona that is correct but was it healthy was it your immunity was it this that like lakhs of or at least thousands of factors are there so that is not correct then how should we prove our experiences people say that i have because of this medicine i am feeling good you also take it and now thousands of people are taking so everybody should take because they have got to know because crores of people saw that in main creek the water was became sweet and they get the cure uh, their diseases so similarly we can see unless and until evidence what is evidence that is also important evidence is a scientific study suppose if you feel that water which was there in the main creek has cured the diseases scientist will go take this sample similar sweetness sample will be given similar color some other thing will be given to other 1 lakh people this side b group 1 lakh placebo means same thing but without the content of that chemical and then we will assess the symptoms the prescription given double blind study will will not know which the placebo has been given or the real drug was given and then we assess the effect and that is observed then it is decoded then if it is effective more than 50% of the time or 65 60 more than 60% then we say that it is effective that is the way i'm taking it in short because but that research has to be done then only we can say it is authentic otherwise we have to say that it is an experience and my experience is this is okay but we cannot say that this is my dogmatic thing and everybody should do like this no so that is what is difference between experience and evidence which in medical faculty has created so much problem that everybody should understand this and not only that this simple basic things you i as a science uh, professor i want that you should percolate it down that is very very important Uh, we don't know much about health, and then we talk more about health. Uh, that is the thing. So let us have at least some simple, uh, basic uh, things we should have. Uh, we should understand, and then only we talk about health and advising other people about it. That is all about uh, what changes. I want to tell you, we one should have. That is very important. because the changes which ultimately we want all through this i told you that we shouldn't forget what the corona has taught us and uh, of course uh, the thing is that we want legislation but i also want that like right to health that is very important and universal health coverage that is health should be in concurrent list because it is if it is in state health, it is in state uh, list so what happens state is responsible for everything but you know patients travel from one state to another from nagpur people come from chatisgarh madhya pradesh for treatment 
and they don't avail the facilities which Madhya Pradesh people will be getting in their state. And uh, many uh, projects are not implemented, central government projects are not implemented by in the state. So it becomes very difficult. So it is better that it is in concurrent list. Oxygen, that has to be manufactured in one state and to be taken to the other state. So ultimately we want it should be one. If we have been, we want that mental health should be part of our curriculum. Expenditure on health should be more because I said that the services should be costly. So ultimately it comes to expenditure by the government. Then only it will be affordable to the patient. Then accessibility, health should be accessible to everyone. For village people, it becomes very difficult. For tribal people, it becomes more difficult. Community participation in health is very, very important. Preventive medicine and community medicines are important. So all this, we have to make so many changes. But I know that if you people take it up, definitely we will be able to go forward. Thank you for that.